Welcome to episode four of our New Zealand adventure. And we are in. <laughs> On our season one tour, we love the Upper South Island so much, we're spending the next month exploring even deeper. One of the highlights of that trip was taking off a bucket list dream by spending the day in New Zealand's smallest but arguably best national parks, Abel Tasman. Mate. Oh. Mate. Wow, 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 wow. We saw the stunning coastline, kayaked to Split Apple Rock, took a cruise, saw a seal colony, ate lunch at the beach, hiked an incredible track and met a wicker or three. This bird has been following us for a while. And that was all in just one day. So it's no surprises we're keen to explore more and get some real hiking under our belts this time. Woo! Woo! Pretty! All right! We're booked on a three-day guided walk with Wilsons, hiking one of New Zealand's top 10 great walks during the day, ticking off close to 40 kilometres all up, and relaxing in the evenings by checking into lodges tucked away from civilization on the beachfront. Good, Good morning. official morning, since I've already kind of been in the hot tub when I wasn't really supposed to. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just came to check the weather. <laughs> that was a beautiful night's sleep in the resurgence. Loud in terms of the rain and the wind, which is exactly what I wanted. We love that. We're basically sitting here in the bush while we, while we sleep. And some luxury. <laughs> but today is going to be day one of our three day hike through Abel Tasman. And we are so excited to get back into the park. Mm. The sun's definitely going to come out. <laughs> um, but we're just hustling now to get our bags ready. And we thought we'd show you what, what we've got, what we've packed, how it works. What we think we need. I mean, no there's been idea. loads of documentation and stuff from Wilson, so we kind of we kind of have a good idea, and we've got these. I literally just said I have no idea. <laughs> no, you do. You're, you're just playing it down. Yeah. We got the Wilson's um, bags that we have to pack everything into. But do you want to kind of explain? Yeah. Stace is a packing maestro. <laughs> okay, so these are the bags that we get given. They're 40 liter bags, and then you also get given these pack liners, which we will reuse, of course. And then um, it's just because these bags get transported on boats that they just want to make sure that no sand or water or anything gets into them. So they take these for us between... They take these in between the two lodges that we're staying at. So you have to pack your overnight stuff, the stuff that you don't need during the day. So we've got um, like underwear, slippers and comfortable shoes. We've got wet weather gear just in case, toiletries. Some laxies. So yeah, some like chill out clothes because I'm sure it's going to be like a couple of big days. So now we're just about to get picked up, store our excess luggage in Mochiwake at the Wilson's office. And then we get given these bag tags. So these are then going to go onto the bags, wrapped up together. And then this guy is going to yeah be at the accommodation tonight for us. Oh yeah. We're at the start. It's happening! We Who would went... have thought we'd be back here so soon? I know. So we've been to the office in Mochueca where we did our big bag swap and everything. Yes. I sort of yep. moved everything around. Stored the big bags, got all our stuff sorted. Then met Sarah, our guide. She kind of discussed some of the stuff that we're going to be doing. I called New Zealand home for about a year and a half and I've been with Wilson's. This is my second season. So I'm usually doing a lot of the five day walks but today I get back on the three day walk, so we get to walk quite a bit. Then we jumped on the bus. We've made our way now to Marahau, which is where we stayed last time. And then we got given our lunches, and Ooh. we've actually already eaten um, mm. the banana bread because we got so hungry. <laughs> we didn't have breakfast. <laughs> we got to regret that later Era on. Era number one, didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> We are in! Woohoo! <laughs> so exciting. I love the start of a trip when you... Um... When you don't have sore feet. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a good one. <laughs> We've got slippers for tonight at the lodge. Um, you know, that, uh, that excitement where you don't quite know, you have no idea what to expect over the next yeah. few days, but you've just got that raw excitement and just anticipation. I, think I feel like I'm going through that. I think it's kind of cool as well because we've seen such a tiny little snippet so mm. we've got like kind of an idea of what to expect and we can just 
like that's just going to be on a massive scale yeah for the next three days we got that perfect taster and now we get to properly immerse in and amongst it so sarah's just told us that we're going to be having lunch at a place called apple tree bay and that is an hour and a half's walk from here and then anchorage is three hours 50 from here and that's where we went in on last, last time. time we're staying at torrent bay which is close to anchorage all up today we're going to be walking for just over four hours it's a bit this is the chillest day of all of them isn't it i think so i think so four hours doesn't seem too bad the trails are pretty good considering it was a storm last night yeah they're not too wet at all not too slippy they're actually the tracks are better than i thought in general um they're really wide not too many <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> i was gonna say that not too many obstacles day tripped over <laughs> The most popular multi-day hike in Abel Tasman is actually the southbound that runs over the weekend. It starts with a ferry drop-off deep up into the park and then you hike back towards Marahau, which instead is our starting point. We walked into the park on the northbound during the week. That means less numbers on the track and more beach space for us. Our wider group was about 20, but only eight or so taking the guided walk. Wilson's do both guided and self-guided. Self-guided. So we're doing the three-day guided tour, but as you've probably seen, we're like we're with the group but it's it's still kind of free it's very flexible um so you have you can walk with the guide in certain parts if you want to know about the history and the surroundings and things like that but then there's also the chance to kind of go off and do your own thing yeah. because the tracks are all really well marked and they also give you these uh self-guided track notes so you know exactly where you're going i'm digging the way that we're getting heaps of like snippets of information and you, we're learning a lot more about the conservation and mm. the effort to control pests and look after the area mm. um, and it is little funny stories and snippets curious little guy 20 percent of them are black really yeah I <laughs> love the little hop. Or bits of history and <laughs> yeah, stuff that it's really interesting. Um, we otherwise wouldn't get. But we're definitely going to do some stuff where we kind of wing it ourselves. So we've got everything that we need here. We just set a toilet stop for the time being. Um, but I'm kind of keen to just roll with the punches and yeah. see how the afternoon goes. Go with the flow and make sure that we're back at 5.30 for snacks and nibbles. <laughs> That's a very good point. We do not <laughs> want to miss that. Speaking of history, for more than 500 years, Māori lived along this coastline gathering food and living off the sea. It was in 1642, a Dutch seafarer named Abel Tasman pulled up to shore on an expedition discovering new lands, a meeting that didn't really go to plan. We'll let you dig deeper into what happened because there's some interesting stories. But it was in 1942 the land officially became a national park and was then named after the first European visitor. Not scared are they? No, not at all. We do not feed them. So we don't feed any of the wildlife. Um, the weka actually were reintroduced because they'd been wiped out. They're not sure exactly why, but I'd say that stoats could be the main reason. But they were reintroduced in 2007. That's the weka. That was the guy that when we were wandering, we were saying, this guy keeps following us on the path. You're like, it was a weka. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the baby ones. Oh. <laughs> Sarah's just saying we have to watch our food around them as if I'm going to leave food lying around. Can't leave it. <laughs> She's hilarious. <laughs> we mentioned last time we were in the park just how beautiful the beaches were here. Can you remember that name? Was it Tepukatia Bay? Yeah, that was like stunning to see. Sort of really blew us away. Uh, and now that we're sort of we started in Marahau and we're kind of making our way in and heading from south to north. We've just been walking along this coastline the whole time and you can hear that's just crashing waves. It's really nice wandering and just having, yeah, the water's right there the whole time and every now and then there's little uh, walkways, steps, stairs that are either a bit, a bit more homemade into the cliff that you can wander down or more official tracks that go down and you can head down to the water. Uh, and then, yeah, the observation spots, like Stace mentioned just then. Yeah. Apple tree 
day for lunch? Uh, no, so we got, we got word. Sarah said that if we go a little bit further, we're going to kind of head down onto a beach that's a little bit more secluded. There's lots of people down on that one. But I'm just looking at how far we've come. So we've gone, we've done five and a half k's already. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. We're such hikers. An hour 45. The second is probably more like two because we've kind of been flowing. And then Anchorage is just shy of Torrent Bay, I think, isn't it? I think so. So that, that's pretty much where we're going. So I think we're, by the time we stop just up the road here for lunch, we, we should be about the midway point. Mm -hmm. But we better go catch up with the crew. <laughs> Day. You ready for some rock climbing? Yeah, 70 meters down and then boulder hopping out to what I assume is a beach. Was this the boulder hopping already? Maybe. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Pretty! Alright! Let's go check out the gates. Quite a setup going here, don't we? Yeah, we're about to have a, co a coffee. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Dane got told how to use this. <laughs> I put this like this. I rub this across here, <laughs> and I get my cup. He's like, show, show me what to do. <laughs> then what do I do? I think we're going to put it. Keep the keep the wrapping, but take put the coffee into this. Keep the wrapping. Yeah, because we need to we need to take out everything take we take with. Take in. As in, like we just keep the trash. Yes, then we're going to put that back into it and wrap her up. Wow! One. Anyway, this is what we've got for lunch. We got a quiche of some sort. We got, I actually don't know what's in here, some kind of sandwich. Whitakers, mm. peanut slab. We had banana bread, but I ate it. <laughs> and a healthy apple. <laughs> Hey, this is the good life right here. Sandwich on the beach. We got our got our coffee. Coffee. <laughs> With a little bit of help from Sarah, we figured it out. <laughs> Sammy's snacking, boots are off. The only trouble is seagulls and birds and they're all trying to get into our food. It's not that bad, but you do have to actually keep an eye on stuff because they will just roll on in. Take a little bit of take a little bit of Sammy for themselves. <laughs> We're at Cleopatra's Pool, which is a waterfall that you can normally slide down on your back and into a pool. But because it was raining a lot last night, the, um, the waterfall is absolutely pumping. So Sarah's just going across now, hopping across the rocks, to see if it's actually safe to do it. Doesn't look safe to me from here, so <laughs> it's a no for me, but it's beautiful anyway. <laughs> Good job, beautiful. So this is Cleopatra's pool. It's definitely way too chaotic, but there's a, there's a bloke over the back who's not with our tour who's just chilling out. I don't know if he's actually gonna do it, but you climb up into this bit, and then this is the natural water slide that you take right the way down into that, and then kind of out into the water here. Definitely shallow, but it's all right. <laughs> It might not have been the clearest water, though it was clean, but that's the kind of swim I'll take after a day's hiking nine times out of ten. Luckily the tides were in our favour and we could walk across the estuary, cutting off the final hill and corner to our spot for the night in the beautiful Torrent Bay. We made it! Yes. We're at the Torrent Bay Lodge. This is where we're sleeping tonight. So we're going to go in, find our room, and then find some beersies. Oh, lovely place. Wow. Hi there. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. Thanks, good. Oh, it's nice. 
Thank you. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, oh too nice. Much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Cheers. Is this morning light? Oh, we're right on the beachfront too. See what's morning light. I like it. What have we got? We got morning light. Yes, we do. We got beach view. Well, that's the advantage. Our bags have all been delivered. Oh, beach. Oh, yeah. Right there. Go out? Yeah. Oh, there's it. Now this is nice. Now this is living. <laughs> now this is living. Volume 12. Come along. Let's go check out the beach. So, this is accommodation for the night. We have walked 22,000 steps today. Pretty is good. that a lot for most people? I don't know. For us, I'd say that's a lot. Yeah. It's only going to continue to increase, isn't it? Yeah, today was almost the entry day, so to speak. It was only really a half day. Tomorrow is yeah. going to be a lot more intense. But we've got... What's the time? What's the situation? Uh, oh, it's in the afternoon and at 5.30 we are going to have nibbles with all the people that we've been, we've been walking with today and the um, self-guided people as well. And then at 6.30 we've got dinner. We chose that this morning. I chose the fish. I went for the pork belly. Yum. And that's a three course I think as well, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, but they have drinks and stuff here as well. So we're going to go and grab a beer and kind of hang out and... Uh, Just get... put our slippers on. <laughs> Ah, oh, priorities. Yeah. Slippers, beersies. And check out time. the beach as well. Yeah. yeah.